Hi guys, Jade Rainbolt, Doctor of Physical Therapy here, and today I'm going to talk about posterior tibialis tendonitis. So our posterior tib runs from right behind this bone right here, and it runs along and behind that middle ankle bone that you have, and hooks to the bottom of our foot. So this muscle works to point our foot as well as bring it in. And when we're in standing, it helps with holding the, that arch in our foot um, when we're standing. So if this muscle is weak or it's having a problem, you may find that your foot is caving in like that. Um, and you may be getting pain right around that middle ankle and maybe even traveling up or down. So this tendonitis is commonly confused with um, Achilles tendonitis or plantar fasciitis because they run very closely, but with Achilles tendonitis, you'll feel it more in the back of your ankle and then plantar fasciitis will be more on the bottom. But with posterior tib tendonitis, it's more middle ankle um, right by that ankle bone. So if you're someone who is battling this, these are gonna be great exercises for you. But I do want to say that during any of the during any of these exercises, you don't wanna have any pain during it because you may still be inflamed. So when there's a tendonitis, there's inflammation, but then once that gets a little bit better, calm down, then you can handle exercises, stretches that don't cause pain. So when you're in that phase, these are great exercises for you. Let's go ahead and get into it. So like I said, this muscle works to point our foot as well as bring it in and hold that arch. So what we're gonna be doing is those movements to work on the strength of that muscle. So what we're gonna do is think about bring, keeping your foot neutral like that. And you're gonna bring the foot out and then bring it in. So I'll give you a couple different angles. Out and then in. So this is a bit of an adduction, supination and this activates that, gives it a little bit of strengthening, but just a little bit so it's not too much. Okay, so going from there, we're gonna go into arch doming or tripod foot positioning. And what you're gonna think about is keeping your heel as well as your big toe keeping contact with the ground. So heel, big toe, and then you're gonna think that someone is sticking a pen in the arch of your foot. So you're gonna push down with that big toe and heel, raise that arch up and avoid thinking about a pen that's going underneath your foot. And then you're gonna arch, hold, and this is that posterior tip working to pull that arch up like that, good. The next one is gonna be another strengthening one for that posterior tip. What you're gonna do is hook your foot in a band like that and then Stabilize it with your other foot. So this takes a little bit of coordination and you're going to invert your foot. Invert like that. So every time you pull that foot in, you are activating that muscle like that. And I would do 10 to 15 reps for two sets as long as you don't have any pain if you have pain, I would back off and give it a little bit more rest. It's like that. The next one is going to be toe crunches. So you're going to keep your feet on the ground and you're gonna curl the ground beneath it. So right now I'm thinking about pulling that carpet, curling, and as you're curling with your toes, you're gonna to notice that the arch in your foot is going to, be, to rise like that. So the next one is going to be tandem balance. So what you're gonna do is stand with one foot in front of the other and you're going to balance with your feet like that. And by doing so, your ankles are gonna kind of be all over the place. You might be kind of rocking, but that's fine. Let it happen. You're gonna use your muscles, your ankle muscles to keep yourself from falling over. Good, so going from there to make it a little bit harder, now you're gonna go into single leg stance. So you're gonna go up on a one foot and think about arc doming that arch like we talked about earlier, digging that big toe in, driving the heel and big toe in, making that arch 
rise and holding like that. So this is a good exercise to do like if you're brushing your teeth, you know, holding it for 30 seconds as you're brushing your teeth, whoa. And um, yeah, it's, it's easy to do in the mornings um, if you feel like you can do it throughout the day. Good. And to make it just a little bit harder from that, adding a little bit more um, weight shifting, you'll go into that single leg stance again, and you're gonna do some taps with that opposite leg. So it throws off your balance a little bit, and it really makes you focus on using those ankle muscles to not let you fall over.